Hi, how you doing? It's Mark from JC Video. I'd like to take a couple of minutes and show you around our brand new digital mirror Mac. This is uh, going to be a very brief instructional video, so I'm kind of dragging things out a little bit because it's just it's just so easy to use. Uh, and once you see the database, you just it will understand everything. I mean, the outside and the interface pretty uh, pretty simple, self-explanatory. We've got single screen, split screen, some line drawing tools. We'll be making some changes to the interface as we as we move along and add new features to the program. And we'll also be changing this, this play control slider so that uh, we marry that into the interface um, as, we, as we move forward. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. On the left-hand side, as you can see, we got some screen options, and we also have our icon right here that actually serves as access to the database. So we're the only company that does uh, believe in the database, and you know, we think it's better, customers think it's better, and I think you'll think it's better once you start to use it. Uh, we have our line drawing tools, um, our voiceover control, which is I'm using right now. That's why it's in the stop or stop recording position. Um, um, and our camera record, play controls. And like I say, this interface is going to change slightly as we move forward. All right, so we have a single screen, split screen. As you can see, you know, just really easy to use. There's nothing really to it. Um, we'll go back to the split screen. Uh, line drawing tools. You draw the line, any size, style, shape you like, squares, circles. Uh, double click erases the line, okay, but keeps the line drawing tool active. You can change colors with the tool. And draw as many lines on the fly as you'd like. All right. Uh, circles, squares, I won't bore you to death with those. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the best part. My favorite part is the database. We, we work extensively on the database, so let's go ahead and take a quick look under the hood. All right, so what we have here is our database has three tabs. We have our workspace. This is where all of the fresh and newly captured clips enter. We have our students tab. This is where you go and you can see how many clips are saved to each student. And we have our pro tab. This is where our professional examples are. We have our online library and we have a local library. All right. So the workspace, let's go back to the workspace. So that's, I know we know you uh, are mostly interested in the workspace. Then we'll cover the other two tabs in just a few seconds because that'll just marry right into the workspace. All right, so let's go ahead and slide this over. And as you can see here, I've got several students and they have oh, one, uh, nine videos for this student, one video for this student. This is just the student list. Below are all the newly imported or freshly captured clips. There could be 50 or there could be 200 here. As you are uh, concluding your lesson, all you need to do to save a clip is click and drag that clip onto the student that you want to save the clip to. And that clip is saved. Okay. As easy as click and drag. Okay. If I want to display that clip in the window, double click or drag, click and drag that into the window I want that displayed into. So let's go ahead and let's say, let's say you're you're beginning the day and you want to import, import some clips. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and take all these clips, multiple select, okay, and we'll just save these, okay? To see you later. All right, there they go. All right, so. Um, I'm at the beginning of the day. There's all my clips. I'm going to import some clips and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the database, open up a finder window, and I'm going to click and drag these clips right into the, the, into the video window. So if I have five clips, ten clips, click and drag, boom. All ten clips instantly saved. Let's just go a little more aggressive. Let's get, oh, let's get that many clips, 23 clips, boom. Instantly, just, I mean, I can't believe that this program can do it that quickly and do the voiceover that I'm currently doing. It's just the, the Mac software and the Mac operating system really designed for video um, and the performance is just, just off the chart. So now I've got all these clips are in there and they're all generically named workspace, okay? But now I can analyze anything I want, any, pull any clip I want and save it to any student that I want. So let's go ahead and take that one step further. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and we'll select all these clips and we're at the end of the day and let's just go ahead and delete them. Oop, bye-bye. All right, 
Now, what I want to do is I want to start coaching, okay? So I'm gonna pick a, pick a student, okay? And we'll start coaching. Now, Mac rocks. So now when I open my finder window and I bring in, oh, 20 clips, all of my clips are named to the student that I have selected for coaching. So anytime I do a voiceover, send an email, do an upload, um, it's or, or save, that clip is already, already saved and named to Mac Rock. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick command, and I wanna save this one, I wanna save this one, and I wanna save this one, and all I do is click, you can see Mac Rock, seven, he's at, he has nine. Okay, we've got four selected, I click save. Boom, all done. Now he has 13. So if you had 20 or 30 clips from your lesson, you only wanted to save two or three, you save your two or three, you delete the rest, this is your temporary clip panel while all your temporary clips live. All right, so let's go over to the student tab. Student tab, we can see we have 13 clips from Mac Rocks, one for Lookout PC, five for See You Later. If I see a clip that is not named correctly, okay, to edit, all I have to do is click and drag that clip to, the different, to a different record, and it's instantly edited. Very, very, very easy to do. This way, you can organize your information. We give you multiple ways to edit and organize your information um, so that you know it, it boils to preference rather than principle. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Pro tab. Uh, you know what, before we get there, if you wanna add a new student, okay, pretty self-explanatory. Add, edit, delete. Yep, bye-bye, okay. So now let's go ahead and get to, uh, get to our Pro Tab. All right, Pro Tab, as we said, we have two different modes in the Pro Tab. Our Pro Tab has our online library. As you can see, it's set to online. And we also have a local library. The online library is pulling from, from our web server. So all of these clips are online, obviously, as the, uh, <laughs> as the word indicates. But we will change these from time to time. So, Anything you've downloaded also lives in your local pro library. The local pro library, you can click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. The online library, because it's pulling from our website, will only accept a double click. It's the slight caveat, it's the only caveat we have in the program right now, and we'll actually work on that to make that a click and drag as we get further down the road, but as long as you know that it's a double click in this mode, and you can double click or click and drag in this mode, you have complete access, complete control, and just use a little um, preference versus principle in your clip selection. So really, that's it. Um, you can multiple select. Oh, we also have an import tool right here, which uh, does the same same as the uh, as the drag and drop. You just drill to your Casio files, drill to your camera, and you can import um, the same the same way as just dragging a file onto the video window. So clean, neat, easy to use. It runs on your Mac operating system. No need to install Windows Parallel. Uh, incredibly powerful, as you can see, what it can do. It, it, it imports the clips faster than, than we pop the message to confirm they're imported. So I hope you enjoy this video and look for new releases and new features and functions as we go further down the road. And I'm sure you will be very happy with your digital mirror, Mac.